we now come to the last part of nomenclature of organic compounds in trying to write the structure of an organic compound given its IUPAC name. We follow a system for that. The system is as follows. In step one, we write the number of carbon atoms in the chain. In step two, we number these carbon atoms in any direction, either from left to right or right to left. In step three, we locate the suffix, whether it is an eme or an ame or an ime or an alcohol. In step four, we attach the substituents. And step five, we satisfy the valencies of carbon, that is to see that all the carbons meet their tetravalent character. An example will illustrate this. A compound such as 2 bromo, 4 methyl, pent 2 e. Step 1 we write the carbon atoms in the chain. There are 5 carbon atoms. This is a pent. So we have 5 carbon atoms. In step 2 we number it. We could number it in this way or we could number it from right to left. Step 3, we locate the suffix. The suffix is in and it is of the second carbon atom and therefore we have put a double bond there. Step 4, we need to attach the substituents. The substituents are 2 bromo attached to the second carbon, 4 methyl attached to the fourth carbon atom. Step 5, we need to satisfy the valencies of carbon and we have done that by completing the addition of hydrogens or attaching the hydrogens onto the respective carbons and we get our compound 2 bromo 4 methyl pent 2 e it must be clearly understood at the end of this series of lectures that the rules for nomenclature of an organic compound are very many as will be seen in the chemical abstracts and the ones presented in this series of lectures are only the ones which apply to a 10 standard syllabus. It is a syllabus oriented series of lectures which I have given you. Even the examples so chosen were those which fit these rules. Thank you for watching this series of videos and I wish you the best at your ICS exams. Thank you.